welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with one of my favorite videos to film, which is a best toys series. So my son just turned two years old and we got some awesome gifts for his birthday and we gave him some awesome things for his birthday. So I just wanted to share with you guys some ideas for what to give if you need to give a present for a two year old and what are some of the best toys for two year olds. So um, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below to see more. So I divided these gifts into sort of like sections. So if you're looking for something like an outdoor toy or a construction building toy, that's how these kind of are laid out. So the first thing I want to start with is outdoor toys. Um, two year olds have a lot of energy. And one of the best gifts that Max got this year was this a radio flyer scooter. I'll try and show you guys. So scooters are huge for the uh, little kid population. What's really nice about this one is it's not too expensive. I think it was about $30. I will link everything below, um, by the way, I think on anything I can find on Amazon. But this was not too expensive and this is a completely stable scooter. So it doesn't like fall over at any point. They can, it just stands perfectly upright by itself and it's very easy for them to learn how to use it. And it has definitely been one of my son's favorite. He calls it a scoot scoot and it hangs around in our like kitchen dining room area because he's always like going round and round with it. And he also got this helmet to go with it, which I just think is really fun. He was very resistant to trying on a helmet, um, by the way. So the way we got him to do it, if anyone is struggling, is me and my husband both wore our bike helmets to like show him how cool it was. And finally he agreed to put his on. So yeah, a scooter is definitely one of my top recommendations. Along the lines of outdoor toys, I want to show you guys this bicycle. So this is called a balance bike and me and my husband did a lot of research before asking for this gift. Apparently the new training wheels is to not have training wheels at all and to not have pedals. So this is a bike without any pedals and um, the kid just sits on it and kind of like pushes along with his feet and then learns how to balance. That's why it's called a balance bike. So he like pushes along and then lifts his feet and apparently it's the best way to actually learn how to ride a bike and it's really fun for them. So it's been super, super rainy since my son's birthday and we haven't actually got a chance to try it out and he just turned two so I can't honestly say that my son has like picked it up and loved it just yet but from everything I've seen online and talked to um, family and friends that have these their kids love them and are really um, benefiting from having these starting at a young age so because my son is a major car truck fan I also wanted to show you guys these two trucks that he got these are his first Tonka trucks and um, what I love about them is they're very realistic and very like heavy he really likes that they're metal and they're just fun for him to play with so not too much more to say on that I think technically the age recommendation for these is three but they do not have any small parts I think it's more just like um, that's the age they're designed for but my two-year-old boy absolutely loves them okay then to round out the cars I wanted to quickly show you guys this Melissa and Doug car set if you're if you have a kid that's obsessed with cars also and realistic cars um, then I definitely recommend this one Whenever we're driving, we're pointing out every truck, every taxi, every police car on the road. So I like this set because it has all of those cars in it and my son really likes it. Another Melissa and Doug toy that I really love that my son got this year is this big rig building set. When he saw this, he was like, what? And that's why I wanted to include it because sometimes when you're giving a gift, it's that initial reaction that you're looking for. You know, you just want the kid to have like a positive experience when they see it. And this is one of those toys that I think if you have a truck lover around, it will bring you. So this is a giant big rig truck and it's also a building set, which is really cool because it's got like, it's got like, I don't know, screws, screwdrivers, whatever that they can like build around and play with. It's got all these shapes with holes and stuff. So they can do lots of other stuff with this tool and they can also just drive it around the house. My son has been putting all his other cars into this car and calling it a car transporter and just generally having a lot of fun with it. Okay, then the next section of toys I wanna to talk to you guys about is building toys and blocks. So I really wanna recommend magnet tiles. This is another one where technically um, it says for ages three and older, but my son got his first set of mag tiles this year and he loves them. And to be honest, I love playing with them. So if you've never seen these before, they're magnetic blocks. They stick together with magnets, so it makes it really easy to build things, especially for little ones. I'll do a little sample build for you guys so you can see how easily everything goes together. 
So that's a basic cube or what we call it a house or like a car wash or whatever you wanted to imagine it to be. Um, another element of magnet tiles is they really encourage imagination. We always invent new things that we're building and um, the best part is my son loves smashing them down after we built them. So yeah, this has been a big highlight toy. Magnet tiles are expensive, but they last forever and they're fun for all ages as the kid grows. So that's another reason I recommend them. Then the last toy that I want to talk about is this train set that I found on Amazon. Um, if you guys have ever looked into wooden trains for little ones, you know that they are super expensive, especially the Brio sets, which are amazing and very well made, but they're really expensive. This set, which comes with three trains and a really nice track was only I think $30 on Amazon so I just wanted to mention that to you guys if you're looking for a lower price point train set um, I will link that one below and we really like this then the last thing I have to mention is just one book and that is trashy town that my son got this year as I said he's really into trucks obviously when the garbage man comes once a week that's the highlight of the week for him this book is all about the garbage and it's written in a very like poem sing-song kind of way it has a repeated refrain that goes through the book and so for little kids that is really really nice because he catches on quickly sometimes for new books it takes him a while to get into it um, unless he really knows the characters already so trashy town we read to him once and then pretty much had to continue reading over and over again every night so <laughs> So I really recommend this. If you know a little kid that um, loves to see the trash truck come by, they will probably love this book. So I'll link this below also. So that's it. I hope I gave you guys some great ideas if you need to give some gifts to two-year-olds coming up. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below to see more. I'll see you next time. Bye.